Lil Rev is back and he's going to give us all the details of the Great Lakes Ukulele Gathering. Lil Rev was born in Milwaukee. He awesome. is a music, a music educator, historian, and of course performer traveling across the U.S. And we're so excited to have you back. Good to be back on the show. Good yeah. to see you guys. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I kind of feel like ukulele's gotten a little revival in the last few years. You see um, more men and women picking it up younger ages. Yeah. What do you think of the ukulele and why it's so great? Well, one thing, uh, probably about like 2005, it really started to become obvious that, the, that there was something happening here. Mm -hmm. uh, people all across America, seniors, high school students, people just started becoming attracted to this instrument. Um, it's fun, it's easy to learn how to play, it's lighthearted, it creates a lot of good energy. Yeah. And we've just seen a grassroots musical movement, a revolution, I like to think, yeah. uh, in terms of people becoming participants rather than just observers in the musical experience. Okay. And this instrument has done that in a way that we have not seen in a hundred years. Love you it. know, I mean, everybody came to, you know, the folk revival, the fifties yeah. and sixties, sure. and let's sure. all get together and sing. But truly I have experience and I don't want to call myself the Johnny Appleseed, though I have been out there traveling all over the country, sure. teaching people. Um, it's just a beautiful thing to see how empowered people uh, are feeling these days because this happy little it instrument. Is happy. It is. It looks you know, happy. Is, it? You think of like just, the song um, that got so popular on the radio that is somewhere over the rainbow, and that yeah. was on the ukulele. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I feel like everybody wanted to pick it up. There's how many strings? Are there only four? There's or? four strings. Okay. Yep. Four strings. So is that what makes it more user friendly, or and, and a little more easy for some people to pick up quicker? Yeah, most definitely. You know, I mean, the the tuning on these four string ukulele. It's adorable, by the way. Yeah is my dog has fleas. <laughs> if you could say that, you could tune it. Right. That's yeah. step one. Okay. You know, if you can just cradle this like you would a baby almost on, yeah. you know, right. you can you can hold it. If you can go like this with your hand, you know, you can strum it right. and some very simple chords okay. and suddenly you're making music and there's thousands of songs that are just two chords. Incredible. You know, so I mean, it, you don't need a whole lot of technical ability to... Or musical you know, background. Yeah, and, and like you said, four <laughs> strings is much easier than six. Nylon instead of steel. Okay. Uh, which are harder to you know to press down. Course, right. So the ukulele is definitely a lot more user friendly. Sure, we heard it's sure. so user friendly. You're going to teach us. I am. Oh, fantastic! Am. Does it matter right. which one we grab? No, it doesn't. Okay, it I doesn't. want the cute little guitar yeah. then. Yeah. That, oh, you guys look good with those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sing it. You got it. Yeah, it could be more than a prop. Dog has fleas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're hitting talent, Tyler. Yeah. You got it. Okay, so I'm going to give you a couple steps here. One is you're already naturally holding kind of how you should. If you don't have a strap like me, then it rests kind of on your lap mm -hmm. okay. or on your on, on your bosom, you know, okay. either way. Right then, on your bosom, Tyler. Right on your bosom. That's okay. right. All right. So and then this hand's just going to kind of hold it up like this. Okay. And this other hand, before before you even touch the string, just try this once. It's like a squirt gun shape. Okay. And you're just oh. going to kind of turn. That's it. Yeah. Nice. Down up like that. It's The most common stroke is just a down up, down do up kind of thing. On your way up too? You can do it down and up. Oh. Okay. So I'd like to ask uh, the intern okay. Um, okay. to is going to come in. Yeah, we, Duan has a very important role today. Yes, yes. <laughs> right. yes. Sorry, yes. We are very Thank grateful du right. for Duan. <laughs> he's, yes. he's holding a cue card yeah. for us, just yep. like they do on the big shows. That's right. <laughs> so, yeah, um, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to teach you how to make two chords. Okay. okay. So the first one is an F chord. Here's okay. Duan. And uh, if you need to look at uh, the cheat sheet, Duan is. Wait, is, you have a fifth chord there. I, I have a fifth. I have a. Fifth, fifth string, string. Are yeah, you and with and the what that is is <laughs> set up? you see this you would fifth think string? right yeah so what it is is that your string right here is a G this is a G string right yep. okay. okay I have two of them right here okay, okay. and they're two and an octave apart it just gives me a little bit of a a beefier sound to when I'm strumming but essentially it's still four strings because these two are identical okay. Gotcha. Okay. okay okay all right so let's start with the easier of the two chords put one finger right okay. there right. and that's on the first fret. fret you're gonna okay. go up up you're gonna go right here. Okay. First okay. fret, Tyler. There you go. I've never taken okay. a guitar lesson. This right. is it. This yep. is it. You're doing very good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay. One more chord. Okay. All right. So that's your C7 Put your finger chord. finger on the G string. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are you guys are working it today. <laughs> this is gonna be, okay. And right. here's your next chord. All right. Okay. This is called an F chord. And you put one finger on that first fret right there. Okay. That's that's it. You got it. And then another finger on the second fret of that G string there. Okay. That's it. And you want to use the tips of the fingers if you can. Okay. Okay. And now 
uh, looking at Duan's cheat sheet, you're going to see there's a song called Ico Ico All Day. Oh, yeah. Okay? And wherever you see the F, the F chord, which you have right oh, now, or okay. the C seventh, it's going to follow the pattern of the words. Oh. Wait, so, so what's the C again? The so C here's is just the bottom one? Yeah, that's your C or C, C seventh chord. Okay. okay. And then the other one was? That's, that's your F chord. Right. Okay. okay, and then so when people start out before this gets comfortable, sometimes they just brush down, 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 or they take their thumb and go, and that allows you to just start oh, yeah, work that. your way into strumming before the down, up, down, up thing happens. Now, granted, this isn't the rhythm you'd hear in New Orleans, no. okay, <laughs> yeah, right. which is very funky. <laughs> but but you know, for the beginning student wanting to learn how to make music, look, it would be as simple as this. Watch now. My grandma and your grandma sitting on the bio. My grandma say to your grandma, gonna set that thing on fire. Talking about hey now, hey now, I go, I go all day. Giacomo Fina Anane. Giacomo Fina Let me show you one more thing that's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're almost out of time. Okay. okay. So we'll, one we'll last go one. out with that. Okay. okay. But I want to make sure people can come out and see you. I want I want Definitely. everybody to know what they can see here at the festival. So the yeah. festival's coming up. It's again um, the Great Lakes Uka, uh, the ukulele gathering festival. It's Sunday, October 14th. It's from 9 to 6. There's a free concert or it's open to the public. Open right? to the public. Yeah. Okay, it's from yeah. four to six at Anodyne Coffee, right on Bruce Street in Milwaukee. That's right. So people can come out. You're doing. There's going to be lessons. Vendors. There's going to be people listening. Yeah. There's vendors, so you can go out, learn how to play a little bit. Maybe can you buy ukuleles there? Sure, there'll be lots of ukes for sale. I might have nice. to do that. Yeah. All right, yeah, you guys come on. Where will you, will you be at the at yeah. Anodyne Coffee Roast? I'm the director, so I'll be there. I'll be teaching. I'll be performing, and we're bringing two national acts uh, from the West Coast, as well as a ukulele sunshine band from here in Milwaukee. A local great local oh, group. Well, Rob, it's wonderful to see you again. Yeah.